Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we are specifically setting up a flexi tank. This is the flexi tank from Autopot and in this video I believe it is the 225 litre one that we are working with. They're all going to be very much the same, I think the only difference is of course it's capacity and size and I think they come with a uh, few extra poles on the much bigger tanks but in this case we've got six legs which is going to be supporting the flexi tank, an assortment of fittings and the flexi tank so when you unpackage everything this is pretty much what you can expect to see plus a uh, pamphlet for some instructions. But I'm going to show you in this video how to set these up because they are pretty straightforward But I figured for a lot of people it's good to see what they actually look like and how they come together because photos don't seem to do things justice So when you get out of the box, you've got your flexi tank here So you're pretty much going to unravel that at the top It does have a malleable lid because they they send these in some pretty small boxes not gonna lie And you're pretty much gonna pop this out now what I'd recommend doing is installing the tap fitting first. So with the assortment of fittings they include, you actually have a choice. Um, the idea is you're gonna, they're called compression fittings. Um, I'd always recommend going for the one that has the valve into it because you wanna be able to stop the water flow and a valve is a very easy way to do that. So you're gonna pretty much twist off the back of this and that's gonna give you your half of the compression fitting. So you want to make sure it comes with two O-rings. One goes on one side, and one is go, gonna go on the inside of the tank. So I'm just gonna bring this around. So I just got my finger for reference, so you can see where the hole is. Um, and we're just going to take the fitting here and poke it through. Now, they're actually quite a tight fit, but a little bit of twisting and wriggling, and, and it goes like so. Uh, just to clarify again, I have the O-ring here, uh, so you can see there, and I've got the lock nut here. So you wanna go O-ring, and then lock nut. So I'm just going to slip that o-ring on and then tighten up that nut. Like so. Okie dokie, so that is the tap fitting in place at the base. So I'm now going to fit the legs. All right, so with the legs here, we've got one end that actually has the foot on it and one that does not. So you'll find along the, uh, around the flexi tank, sorry, there's actually gonna be some sleeves just for this. So I'm just going to get these legs in place if I can make that fit nicely. Just work those in one by one. One foot. Okie dokie, so I'm just gonna stand this up here and try. It's a bit better. Okie dokie. So when you start to fill that with water, it is gonna take a much better shape because um, I've just popped this all out like so. And with these additional fittings here, you'll actually see at the very, very top, it has the same punch outs for fitting these remaining uh, accessories, I'd call them, or at least inlet and outlet. So you've got two, one that you're gonna use to blank one of these extra holes, and another one that actually has a hose fitting on it, so you can connect a hose for, to it, so you can fill this much easier. Uh, of course, you've got the zip over lid, because when you zip it up, it's gonna stop evaporation. Um, but this particular tank being 225 liters, it has a fair amount of water capacity. So for a lot of people, it should last a long time, of course, unless you've got lots of plants, and in which case you might be topping this up regularly, which makes this valve option connecting to a hose very easy. So from generally with the auto pot systems, there's a valve system that goes, oh sorry, a filter system which goes right after this valve. Um, not 100% of a requirement, but it's definitely handy. And for those who are just looking for a flexi tank to use as water storage or irrigation without an water pot system, these will work perfectly fine. And of course they'll collapse down again if you end up emptying the tank. So a great option for those who need something, well, portable, of course, when it hasn't got water in it. Um, so we actually really, really like these tanks and we recommend them to a lot of people. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, watching me battle put this thing together. They really are very easy and straightforward, just don't do it on a table like I have. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Cheers.